One of the biggest challenges in the world is the fact that we're all so set in our ways. We only know what we know and we're used to liking what we like and we're not allowing ourselves to expand our mind about new possibilities. This is the Connie Baba potato stuffed with Maryland blue crab with an invasive Asian shore crab. Next, we have a whelk that we dove for yesterday. Rope grown mussels. This roll is called In Praise of Shadows, and different types of wild leaves are used depending on what uh, we feature that week. I've got uh, a roll over here made out of a sweet potato, two different types of sweet potato, and pine nuts. That's a coconut with a cashew cheese. This is our version of falafel sushi. All done. A combination of sustainable seafood and plant-based sushi. We have guests who come in and run run out the door and they, before they even try our food because it's not what they expect sushi to be. They want a tuna and everything else that we didn't carry. Or just a classic shrimp roll. Will eat larvae the of rocks. other native shellfish. Um, they traveled here on the ballast of ships from Asia. Human beings eat too many animals, particularly farmed animals or fish that they're not fishing in a way that's ethical. Invasive species are an abundant, untapped resource. There's 50,000 invasive species in North America alone, and many of these we will not be able to get rid of in the environment. Spread out a little. Keep going. Yes. Little smelt. That's edible, right there. That is what makes our mother so happy growing up in Kyushu, Japan. When they're full of eggs, they're called shishamo. My mom loves it. So after college, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, but my mom needed our help, and she raised us as a single mother, you know, juggling all of us. And 
I really wanted to help her. Not many this time. It was always beyond a restaurant. My mother named Mia's Mia, because in Japanese, uh, it means shrine. You know, it's a holy space where the spirits and holy objects are kept. So we've always felt that way about Mia's, that it wasn't just food that we're doing, that we're doing so much more than that. This is sorrel that tastes like lemon. It's great in salads. Wild lettuce is fabulous in salads as well. You've got nettle, mustard, garlic, mugwort, one of my favorite, and incredibly misunderstood because it's so powerful in flavor. Wild plants are exponentially more nutritious than anything that we can possibly grow. Weeds like this can withstand the fluctuations of weather patterns that are unpredictable. Oh man, it's addictive. Because of climate change, we're gonna have vast famines in the world. So the idea is to even cultivate invasive species that are already there that you cannot possibly get rid of. Human beings are not only social with each other, but they're interactive with other living things. We can't exist without consuming other living things. And when you separate yourself from the source of all life, which is nature and, and ultimately the ocean, it's no different than being separated from your, your friends and your family and your community. When we try to change our ways to a better way, and one that is more restorative and nurturing of nature and other people, uh, I can't think of anything more important to do, you know, and I think we're doing it in a, a tiny little way. Mm -hmm.